there, we're, we're going to harvest from an excavation waste material with a bunch of garbage and high clay content and who knows what. Um, this whole turnkey process begins over here with a scalping screen. From that scalping screen, we're going to scalp off anything bigger than four inches. And that's to protect the system. And it's going to come up into our here. And this is our first rinse. This is our aggregate production uh, plant. This is going to rinse off and knock off anything um, between one inch to four inch. And from that, all the, the, the grit and the sand and stuff that gets knocked off here is going to go into our sand plant. And all the other, the fraction, the bigger material is going to come in here and get scrubbed in the Agmax. This Agmax is, is a beefy piece of equipment that's going to mechanically process and knock off the clays and silts on, on your rock product. Once it comes down in here, it's going to get classified and dewatered and you're going to make a specified material that, that you feel you want to sell. So typically we find um, people want to sell their, their three-quarter clean product or their three-eighths pea gravel, your eights or your 57s. Um, there is going to be an overs as well, something bigger, like bigger than one inch in between one and two, and that's great for tracking pads. And all the sand that gets collected and knocked off and scrubbed within here is going to be transferred over into the sand plant. And the sand plant, you get your first cut with some cyclones here and dewatered, and once it gets dewatered, because we want to control the hydration of the material, we have attrition cells. And attrition cells act like the Agmax, but it scrubs and polishes the sand. Then from the sand, it goes into a sump, and it ends up into our, our, our classifier, our CFCU 300. The 300, the classifier is an upward flow classification system, water from the top, sand from, uh, water from the bottom, sand from the top, and it's a bed level, and we can control the, the depth of that knocking off your, um, the lightweights are gonna be on the top of that. And that gets knocked off so you can make your, your C33 sand, your mason sand. Once that comes up here and gets, and gets another desliming, it's gonna get dewatered and classified and ends up as a C33 product as well as a mason sand product. This particular system is in a Sedexra, it's in, it's in France. They end up having a third sand. That's not typical we see right here at the moment, but this particular customer wanted to have a third product. And at CDE, we are customizable and we'll be able to make, as long as it's in the inbound feed, we'll be able to make the cuts that you want. So throughout this whole process, it's a wet process. We don't do anything dry in terms of crushing and screening. We, all we care about is wet. We're really good at that. But it's also, never is it gonna be discharged. All the water is circulating through this whole system and is continuously being recycled to the tune of that 95 and 97% is constantly being turned over in the system. What ends up happening is, is all the dirty water, all the clays and silts, your sub 200s, are gonna end up in a clarifier. And in the clarifier, we're gonna add a flocculant, and that flocculant is gonna create a sludge. And the sludge is gonna go into another sludge tank, and then follow that next process goes into a filter press. And that filter press um, makes actually another product, a cake. A cake that we call it that can go into a number of different sources, number, kind of an untapped market where it can be pond liners or cell walls or something. It's a, it's a, it's a cake that has a great permeability um, that a lot of people are gonna, it's gonna be desirable because of how consistent it is. And that delta, that 5% delta that I was talking about, you end up having to replenish the water. That's the only additive that you're gonna have. Everything else gets recycled.